Hey, how's it going? Steve here and welcome back to my workshop. Now, I, I got this Cheaty XMart 3 about a month ago and I did a review and if you haven't seen that review, you can click up here and go watch that. Uh, my response then was fairly positive and in this video I wanted to kind of ensure you or cover the fact that my response is still positive. So I want to look at additional slicer support that I kind of glossed over in the previous review. I'll, I'll walk through a couple of things there. Uh, as well as uh, one single additional annoyance. It's very minor, but it drives me crazy. And uh, I wanna talk about that. And I wanna also talk about support. Support's been on my mind lately, so this was a good opportunity to, uh, you know, to test out Cheaty support. And I'll talk about my experiences there. And finally, I'll show you a couple more results I've done. I've been using this, this uh, printer to do a few additional projects that I've been working on. Uh, but I've done a couple more benchmarks here that I want to talk about and show you what the results look like. So with that, let's get started and uh, we'll start with, with slicer support. Now, if you saw the previous review, then you know that the uh, Cheaty XSmart 3 comes with its own slicer, the Cheaty Print. And it's based on Cura, but in the end, uh, I originally liked it quite a bit, but once I started using it for, for I'll say, intense projects, uh, it just kind of let me down. I love the user experience. It's a lot cleaner than, than Cura, but there was quite a few places where it's just dumbed down a little too much, and uh, I had to jump through some hoops to try and find things. So... Uh, what I did was I tried uh, all the other slicers that are at my disposal and I started with Cura and I basically reproduced uh, the exact same settings in Cura and then I used Prusa Slicer, the latest version of Prusa Slicer, uh, Idea Maker and finally uh, Simplify 3D. And you can see the results there, they're all fairly close. Uh, these are all 0.2 millimeter layer thickness so they're not you know high density. But uh, they're all pretty close, and it was just nice to know that I could use other slicers. Now, in the case of Cura, uh, there actually is a couple of Clipper plugins that you can use that will enable things like uh, Wi-Fi downloading, so you can you can go right from Cura to the printer, uh, and that's a nice feature. So if I was using uh, a, an alternate slicer to Cheaty Print, I would probably actually use Cura just for the convenience. But I also discovered that you can use uh, the Clipper interface, the web interface that's available on the XMART 3. So once you connect the printer over the network, uh, then you can fire up your browser and you can connect to your printer directly. And from there, you can drag and drop files from your file system on your computer right over to the printer. So you get the same kind of effect. So you could use any slicer is what it boils down to here. And that is a, a major blessing. Uh, I do think it's also something that GD should promote a little more. I mentioned there was one small annoyance here uh, with this printer and it's something that I, I basically grew to dislike as I was using the printer. And you're gonna say I'm being petty, but in reality, the struggle's real here. If you have one of these printers, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. Uh, and that is inevitably when you're printing, you're gonna get small pieces of plastic cast off from the extruder, from just scraping the, pl the build plate after a job. And all of that stuff ends up in the bottom of the printer. And from time to time, you're gonna wanna clean it out of there. So when you're sweeping uh, these bits of plastic out, the only exit, of course, is the front and they will always seem to get jammed or completely disappear between the floor plate and that front bezel. There's a, just a t the tiniest of gaps there and uh, you, it's gonna drive you crazy. So, you, you know, realistically, you can't get a vacuum out every time you wanna clean your printer because if you're printing a lot like I do, you could be three times a day doing this and it's just gonna drive you crazy. Now, my solution to this was pretty obvious. I just took a piece of two inch uh, packing tape and I straddled it across that seam in the, between the cabinet and the floor and held it down. And now when I sweep uh, any of the material out of the bottom, it, it jumps the, the lip there where the front bezel uh, meets the floor and I don't have this problem anymore. Now, if you're on my channel page right now watching this video and you click 
down here somewhere uh, on the community tab, you'll know that I've been on a bit of a rant about product support. Uh, it seems like uh, companies want to sell you things, but they don't want to support them. So it was a bit of a, t uh, a cringeworthy moment when I needed support. And it was because of this. This is the EMMC card out of my Chidi XMART 3. The EMMC card is basically a fancy way of saying the brains of my printer and uh, my printer lost them basically. So uh, I got on a, a shot an email to Chidi. Uh, the email address is right here on the front of the printer. So if you can't find it, there it is. And I, I got a response from a support tech named Carl and Chidi, if you're listening, give Carl a raise because he was very quick to solve my problem. And it turned out that this was basically the problem, this EMMC. Uh, and half of the files that were on that, that memory card basically disappeared. And I'm not sure whether it was something I did or whether the printer just failed. Uh, anyway, Carl fixed me up and sent me a new one of these cards and sent me a bunch of disassembly and reassembly videos on, on how to fix things in my printer. And he was great. So I can't say anything bad about uh, Chidi support. The one comment I will make though is the turnaround time. Because of where I live and where Chidi is located, I'm about 12 hours away from them. So when I'm waking up, you know, they're going to sleep and vice versa. So the turnaround time was a, was a bit lengthy. It took a couple of days to get this resolved, but uh, they sent me a new card uh, very quickly. I put it in, it's two screws and problem was solved. Uh, so good, good outcome in the end. So kudos to Chidi support. Now I wanted to revisit some of the results that this printer is capable of. So I, I redid a Benchy, uh, a 15 minute Benchy is fantastic, but this one took, uh, I think 35 minutes and you can see it's much, much better. This, in this case, it's in PLA, but uh, short of one uh, slight layer separation on the bow, uh, and you can see it there, uh, this printer did a, a great job at this Benchy. Uh, I redid the Adelinda Dragon, and in this case, I did a 0.1 millimeter. Now I used Prusa Mint, and it was probably a year or so old, so it wasn't fantastic, but uh, the layer lines are pretty much invisible on this. And then finally, at a regular 0.2 layer height, I did a, a torture toaster and you can get this off of uh, Thingiverse. And you can see on the on the slides here, I can get down to 0.3. Uh, the, the door latches work fine. And on the overhangs, uh, if you look at the overhangs on the other side, uh, it looks really good actually, even down to uh, about 80 degrees, it starts to get a little dodgy. Uh, not really a surprise, but uh, all in all, really good result. And then finally, there, I checked out a couple of other channels who were reviewing this printer and they complained that you couldn't do ABS. Uh, here's the proof, this is an ABS uh, clip that I did. I did it very fast, so you can see there's a bit of oscillation in the springs there, but uh, came out fantastic. Uh, this was the one and only attempt I did with ABS. So uh, I can't say other reviewers are wrong, but I had no problems printing ABS uh, in this case. Now, if you watched the previous video where I reviewed this Chidi uh, XSmart 3 printer, then you know I really liked it. And at that time I suggested that it might actually replace my 300 by 300 Core XY home built printer. It has in fact done that. I, I use it uh, pretty much all the time now and it normally sits in my uh, on a table in my office. Now it's not quite as big for sure at 185 by 185 the build plate is a little small so I may have to dust off my big printer on occasion for something bigger but for the most part I like how it prints. It's very quick. It's fairly quiet, although there's a bunch of annoying beeping that I don't know how to turn off and Chidi, I wish you had a checkbox that let me do that. Uh, but other than that, it's just a fantastic printer for the money. Uh, now I'll put a, a video up in the corner here, go watch that and I'll see you over there and get out there and make your world and I'll see you next time.